Hello and welcome to the Vasileya Romeo channel. My name is Michael and today we continue playing Crusader Kings 2 with the historical immersion project modification. Well, we are still playing as the Emperor Zenon the Great, who is not really great, but whatever. And we got a civil war on our hands. There are rebels led by a, one of the Bulgarian vassals of ours. And it's also that, well, not the same Shishman guy, but one of those. So basically, it is the steel rebellion of the previous dynasty of Bulgaria, but this time they got actually a lot of help from our own vassals all around the empire. One from Hellas, two from Strimon and Macedonia, and also a guy from this Phrygian thing. Well, the situation is dire, and we don't have enough force to fight them because look at this. They got 8,000 here, 7,000 there, 6,000, 3,000, and about 3 or 4,000 in here. Well, we can use the good old tactics of the defeat in detail. Basically, we would have to crush their armies one by one. Smaller forces, if at all possible. Okay, somebody declared war for something. Who? You declared war on this guy. Why? Due to war over the Rostov. Okay, I'm okay with that. I can even say surrender to Peristria. Yeah, I can even ask him to surrender. Well, in case he agrees. Let's send this army to... Okay. Great. Now this guy controls these provinces. Now let's send this army to a Mastris and then to Heraclea. Probably we will be able to intercept some of their forces in Nicomedia. There we go. Yeah, we certainly will be able at least to crush this smaller army in Nicomedia. Well, that's not much, but it's still something. Great. And then let's hire everything we can from uh, Aftermatoi. Then let's go to Heraclea and from there to Bithynia. Okay, there is also a rebellion in uh, where? Polition. Okay, apparently in Peloponnese Island, or rather Peninsula. Uh, Polition, a blah blah blah, blah whatever. So hopefully we will be able to crush them before this bigger army comes to their aid. We use favor and deposit the wars and we join all the factions whatever. Okay, are we a good fighter? 48, we quite good. This guy minus 3, well that should be easy. Let's kill him. Yeah. He's a stupid Bulgarian scum. Who is rebelling against this? Got it. We completely crushed this small force. And let's send this army to Sangarius. We'll hire everything we can. And then we can. These guys go to Nikea. Well, that's actually pretty risky because they can try to ring. Okay, we won't go there. 
it's too dangerous. But then we can go to Salimbra to crush that army. Okay, let's go first here and then to... God damn it, they still got a pretty, pretty sizable force in there. 800. I might have been too harsh to the courtiers at the Sangarios, but Logothetis to draw more like Antipatos Leontius managed to calm them down, you know, like you more just by giving them a hobby of. Okay, let's give him some money. Money are not the issue. S By the way, since money are not the issue, we should use some mercenaries. Not too many, but still. Okay, now they decided to actually try to catch up. Now that's not cool at all. Okay, battle for Abydus was a victory. Can we get out of here? Apparently we can, but we trapped ourselves in Kalipolis. God damn it! I mean, now they can attack us from two directions. Shit! Can we get any ships in order to try to uh, escape this inevitable disaster? Yeah, we can. Great. Let us send these guys to Constantinople, actually. Yeah, there we go. We can disband the fleet. Let's hire everything we can from Constantinople. That was 1300, which is not too much. Okay. Then there is a thousand in Thrace. Let's go there. There we go. Okay, we got 40,000 troops. Yeah, we should get there. Oh, they are too fast, we won't be able to actually catch up to them. I have never been one to lurk in the shadows to plot and scheme to plan assassinations or plan devious rumors about my rivals. I will gladly hand over those tasks to my spy master Stratheos Abel III. Interesting. Okay, I shouldn't rely too much, indeed. Let's try to hire everything we can from these things to... Oh, that's actually... That's pretty good! So we got almost 20,000. And if we also take some from Peloponnesus, then... Ah, well, that's all you can give me? Really? That's ridiculous. Anyway, let's send them all to Epirus. Okay, whatever. Let's send them to Epirus and this army I'll send to Thessaloniki. Ah, you son of a bitch! Look at that, now they decided to actually attack this army in... Uh, Thessaly. Okay, I'll go to Thessaly and try to crush these boys. Can you try to escape to Epirus? I need this army. Even if it's gonna be bitten. Okay, this time I will be able to reinforce them, I hope. Yeah, great. Where are they going? Okay, they're going to Thessaloniki. Okay, these small Polish rebellion is crushed, now we can send these armies to the Salonica in order to meet up and continue our fight against these rebels. All the demands, and since you're Polish, I will execute you. No mercy towards heretics and heathens. Who are you? Leader of a revolt. Uh, okay, you're a Christian, even though a heretic. Maybe not a heretic, but a schismatic is still the same. 
let's send this army to Salimria. No, it's actually... No, I don't know, should we send it there because there's a real chance that they will try to reinforce it. Let's send it here. Excellent news. Let's try to get some reinforcements from the north. Well, that's not much, that's less than a thousand. Well, that's a bit more than a thousand, but so. Uh, why exactly you decided to go through Thrace? Are you kidding me? I mean, these automatic path fighting sometimes is really stupid. Really silly. Who are you? Hey. Okay, you're paying good money, I agree. So... The thing is, we should attack that bigger army before they actually take Constantinopolis. There's no other way. Let's then go here. Whatever. Whatever. Oh, fuck you. So they indeed decided to reinforce them. I mean, I expected that the AI in this game is actually pretty stupid and they wouldn't do that. Because, I mean, in the in the EU4 the AI works really well when it comes to the battles, but in this game not really. But still, sometimes they do the right thing. Uh, okay. Okay. Now let's pray to God that we will be able to crush them. I mean, for now it doesn't seem that they are winning anyway. But, oh boy, please. Yeah, boy, look at that! The Imperial Army, god damn it. My man. Yeah, that's great. We actually crushed them both. Amazing. Let's get some troops from Kalipolis and Selimbria. And then we got yet again about 16,000 troops. There we go. So we take back. Okay. And you. Okay, whatever. Very good. Also, who is our current heir? This guy, for some reason. Let's kill him. Or rather, let's plot to take revenge. A revenge! Yeah, there we go. I mean, if we kill him, then my kinsman will inherit, which is good. Okay, now they actually decided to attack us. It wasn't enough for them to lose the battle, now they decided to attack us on the unfavorable terrain. That would be funny if they actually win this battle. Well, no way. No way. Even with all of your stupid reinforcements. There's no way you can win this battle. The, the Imperial Army Triumphant. Perfect, perfect. There's some other guy. And we killed him. Yeah! Traitors must die. Also, when it comes to... Boo, boo, boo. Let's... Well, wait a second, those are heathens, aren't they? Yeah, Turkish heathens. Well, only one fate. Fate is upon you. And that is death. Okay, you are Christian and Greek, so we will ransom you. There you go. Ultamish, are you... Okay, you are a two, but tall, but you are not a heathen, but I still play. Now we are. 
Uh, well, okay, I will ransom you, whatever. People will be upset and I'm not okay with that. This guy. There we go. There we go. There we go. Easy money. There we go. this we can actually assault and that would be a lot faster now let's see if there's any way to get to this province without uh, being caught in a crossing or crossing any rivers and it seems there's no way I mean all the provinces that is has a border they have some rivers Ah, uh, whatever. We'll just attack from Zagoria. Okay, my boys are winning. I would actually suggest you to surrender. We shall never surrender. They say. Money! Can we ransom anyone else? Uh, not really. to take wiles or something, not really. Meh. Okay, I'll just release her, whatever. And then there's this guy. What can I do about you? Not really, not much. What is interesting is that if I somehow manage to make this guy my whistle and then to give him lands and then take those lands from him, uh, then he will become a kind of warranger guard under my command. Basically a very cheap kind of mercenaries. I'm not sure if I can do that anyway. I mean, if I release him, he'll just leave my court. Oh well, I guess there's no way to do that. Except for those interesting bugs where when those um, mercenary companies actually create some kind of uh, states for themselves. Why that happened, I have no idea. But I saw that kind of stuff once when there was a Rus band. They created, as far as I remember, for some reason, some kind of uh, duchy in Thessalia, Thessalonica. And I basically conquered them, made them my vassal. Then I take all the lands from them, and they became a cheap kind of mercenary band under me. Like the same way the Scholar Palatina work or the Varangians. And that was really, really handy. 
The stormy weather is getting to me. Turning to the sky, I take the deep, take a deep breath. The haphazard soldiers of Periesda have been sending their best at me, and my limbs are becoming heavier with each step I take. Yeah, let's do that. And we'll show them this. Yep, and a hundred percent victory, and I will offer my peace demands. There we go. Minus one to the Imperial Decay, which is really cool. And now we might send our army to Constantinopolis in order to uh, dismantle, basically. Now, let's see. You, my friend, a traitor. Which means I'll take everything from you. And I will also execute you. Now we control both of these provinces and... What I want to do, I'll give them to... Well, unfortunately I don't have a son anymore. My second son died for some reason, but we got... These boy, and he's not an heir to anything. Now make him... Uh, Krunoi, Krunoi, Krunoi. This one. I'll make him... Uh, and Turma... On... Stantia. You'll be two marks of, of these two things, and you will create this uh, Thema Chrono or Microscythia yourself if you so wish. Also, can I. Side Guardian myself. That's actually a bit too late, but. Maybe, oh, just maybe, we will be able to make him Greek. Uh, who are you? You are my kinsman. No, you're my Napoleon Duchy. No, and no. And excellent. I will decide myself. Indeed. Then I'll give it back to you. I just didn't want you to have this province. There we go. You can have it. What I wanted, I just simply wanted to revoke this guy. Probably it actually would be a lot easier to do that uh, I, uh, uh, under the revocation of Warsaw uh, option. That would probably make less an impact in terms of the uh, relationships or rather opinion about me, but whatever. That way it would have, it would have been uh, safer. I mean, I mean, actually, if I did it under the option of uh, revocation, that that would be probably less safe. Yeah, that certainly would have been. Anyway, because as we all know, those guys can be pretty rebels when you ask them to give you lands or rework some muscles. Let's go further. Uh, may you blah 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 whatever, I agree. Duchy of Samogitia is in Galia. Ah, really? I have claims on Lithuania. Are you kidding me? Roman Emperor. Now, disband this, disband that, and if we have a marshal, let us train troops in Constantinopolis. And now, we can finally request an imperial coronation. Hmm, we got a lot of our vassals 
in prison. Huh. Well, because apparently they were the... 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 the traitors. Okay, do you have any friends here? I will revoke this title and I will execute you. Ah, oh, that's a terrible sound. There we go. Next. This guy. Ooh, I can't really do much about him since he is of my dynasty. Oh yeah, he is of my dynasty, certainly. Hmm. Okay, what can we do about him? And he's actually my brother. Ha! Huh. What a surprise that the brother would be a rebellious scum. Can I ransom him? Yes, I can. This guy in prison and this one as well, Shishman, Bulgarian guy. Oh great, that would mean that I can actually replace this governor with someone of uh, Greek stock. Let's take Adrianopolis from him. Where is this Castron Versinikia? Okay, it's here in Adrianopolis as well. I will revoke this Castron from you as well as the Ow. 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 That's not good. That's not good at all. Whatever. And next I will banish him from the realm. There we got these lots of these Bulgarian people here, but we'll install some Greek guy to rule over them. Uh, okay. Grab county to a military governor. Since he would be pro he'll probably need to uh, keep these guys in check. Now I'll give you Thema Macedonia. There you go. Beautiful. Next. Okay, this guy also rebelled against us. What can I do? I can execute him. I'll execute this guy as well. The traitors must die. We inherited this Turma Gantra. And I'll also execute this guy. And I inherited this thing as well. Now, what can we can do? We can actually uh, create. Thema of Ladonia. But I would and and Kyra. So and I would include these two provinces into Ankara. This guy will be. Oh wait, sign up is also part of it, apparently. And eh, well, that's not good. Now, what I should like to create a new. Uh, 
a new theme and also look at that this Ankara thing is actually outside of the Nicaea uh, Kingdom of Nicaea, Empire of Nicaea, whatever whatever you wanna call it it is apparently outside of its jurisdiction yep sadly Hmm. What can we do then? Okay, I'll leave it as it is for now, but when it comes to this sign up thing, I really don't like the fact that it's a part of a part of these kingdom. Okay, let's instead try to create a new theme sign up yeah we created the duchy Transfer it to Nicaea. Now we, we cannot afford, unfortunately, since it's not a kingdom. Sadly. Yeah, whatever. It will be without a kingdom. Duchy without a kingdom. And we can create yet another republic here. Home Wally. Good. Now, this guy I will make a mark of the Flagonia, which interesting have some inscriptions in Arabic. Huh. And this guy I'll make the mark of Ankara. Oh wait, that's interesting. May I revert or rather retract also this guy? He says no. Okay, very nice. Well, such is the administrative work of an emperor. Now, here we got something, or rather our physician got some new skills. Now there's this kid. You die. Then there's another kid. And I let him have it. Then there's this guy of Philippopolis. I will simply ransom him. Okay, let's write a formal complaint. And he hates me. What on earth? This changes things. Hi, good. Can we finally get the Imperial Coronation? Come on. Okay, we are strong Vasilevs. Good. Minus five to the decay. No. I 
I'm not going to sell Imperial lands to you, stupid traders. Mercantiles come. Now let's send this army to Athens. Let's marry someone. Okay, she's good. She looks good. island Callisto Duomo uh, uh, wait why uh, I can't even declare war apparently ridiculous Still voting for this guy. How is my plot going? Can we invite anyone else? Gift. Gift. A gift. A gift. Yet another gift. God damn it, that's a lot of money. A gift. A gift. Okay, I just did it. Yeah, the same guy. And yet another gift. Now let's see how it goes. Well, it's a good percent, but still not enough. Oh, look at that. Serbs actually took some of their lands. Huh. Can we declare war on Serbs? No, we can't declare any war. Why though? Talking about laws. Okay, there is one against me. Stop it now. Okay, everything else is good. Republic of Genoa with a capital in Kaffa? Really? Why? Oh, because apparently Saluzzo got their actual capital. Interesting. And the other state. Paracoimonenos. <laughs> Koi Paracoimomenos Akidinos 
of the bus terminal has approached the code with a proposal for repair of taxis, something which has gained a great deal of popularity within the Romanian bureaucracy, even if it's handy, hardly guaranteed to have the effect Arcanius Akintos promises. Okay. Okay. And it was bureaucratic reform, it was successful. Cool. Okay. So be it. Surprise me. Okay, two waters against eight. decided to attack them. Oh, and there's the alarm clock apparently, which means that I would have to finish the episode right here. Well, we at least managed to defeat the rebels and created some new themes in Anatolia. Now we will have to finish it and I wanted to thank all of you for watching and in case you enjoy it, please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye my friends.